So, three days after the caterpillars arrived, they had grown a substantial amount. And I thought, okay, they're going to turn into chrysalis soon. I better film them. But no, they have grown even more. This is them on the first day. This is them on the fifth. They have gone from the second instar to the fourth in five days. And if you're wondering what the instar is, an instar is the phase between periods of molting. And they have certainly been molting because they're like pieces of what looks like dead caterpillar everywhere. If you remember, on the last episode, I compared them to my finger for the size difference. Look at that comparison now. What do they put in that caterpillar food? Because it seriously works. Also, I measured one of them and it was about an inch and a half long. And I was reading up about these type of caterpillars, which are like the painted butterfly caterpillars. And it says that once they reach an inch and a quarter, that's when they start to turn into chrysalis. So I'm pretty sure we're just on the edge of caterpillar and chrysalis stages at the moment. Also, I've noticed they keep like climbing up to the top of the pot, and this is usually where they settle when they're going to turn into chrysalis, hence why you take off the lid and you put it in the pop-up house thing, but that's in the next episode, so you've got to wait for that. So, if you want to know what to look for when they hit this fourth phase, I'll let you know. So, firstly, they have two distinctive white lines down their side. Then you'll be able to see their spiracles, and these look like little dots, but they're actually part of the respiratory system which helps your caterpillar breathe and also their bristles are massive now trust me bristles these are just for show like these do not sting you or anything these are just to scare off any potential predators oh and for once i actually looked up the proper names for parts of the caterpillar so we're going to start off with the mandibles the jaw then the spinneret which is on the lower lip then the acilii See, this is why I don't look this stuff up. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing it right. Then the true legs, the pro legs, the cuticle, aka the skin, the spiracles, and finally, my personal favourite name, the anal claspers. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fabulous name. So, everything is going well with the caterpillars. Now, of course, this video would not be complete without going into the butterfly activity book. So let's go and do that.